Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Inks and I'm from my Jesse Electronics. So today we are going to be continuing with our uh, uh, MRJ3 servo training. And today's subject will be M codes. Uh, how the M codes works, what, how to pretty much program them, what they do, how to use them and yeah, that's pretty much what we're going to be doing today. M code is really, really cool. It sort of works a, like, a, like a feedback, which I'm going to show you in a minute when we're going to quickly progress into the, in the manual and then we check out the programming and then we're going to jump on the screen and more or less check out how that works in the real life. And don't forget to check out all the other videos we already made for this because I'm not going to repeat in a lot of the stuff. And if you're watching this video for the first time and you're thinking, oh my God, how did it go to this point or this point, do check back in the playlist where you can work it out where we started from very much from very beginning and progress and progress and progress as videos are going forward. So one thing before we get started, I will do want to point out the versions in here. So uh, right in here, no controllers. I've got several of these. So uh, in controllers, it gives you a firmware version, which is uh, very vital is when you are setting your controller up. Do check out in the manual what the extra things you need to do there's some little stuff, timings and things like that, how things are started up. But do check out manual which ones you need to do here to make sure your controller uh, is working, controller and your servos are working correctly. So uh, for me, I am using a 1.43, I think, version. So uh, obviously, as uh, any other versions, as the uh, manufacturing progresses, they add things, remove things, and make things more or less better easier to use so yeah so that's what i thought we we're gonna point that out so uh so yeah don't forget to check out all the playlists if you're watching this for the first time and without further ado let's get started <music> Here we are, so uh, what is M-Code? M-Code is a number that you can edit or enter on every single position uh, that uh, once the position is gonna be completed, it will pretty much send that M-Code number. That's about pretty much that. And so I'll quickly show you how that's done in here. So it'll be easier. So we're gonna go, let's go for a y-axis. So as you can see that at the moment, M code is at minus zero. So basically, once M code stands as a minus zero, it will basically ignore it. So uh, as you can see there, we got these dwell times in here. And uh, it will not, uh, it will not stop. Just go from position to from position to position to position to position. As soon as you change that from minus zero one to any number, uh, from one to a nine 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 nine, uh, that will uh, now position will stop at that point, and it will request M code. It will basically it will stop and then send the M code to the. A buffer memory in our case is going to be for the x axis is going to be in buffer memory 9 as you can see stores m code number from there on you can do whatever you want with that number you can compare add subtract whatever you are uh, you are programming a uh, would be working with so that's pretty much this what uh, this m code would be useful for and as soon as it receives m code it will stop and it will be waiting for the uh, feedback so as, as it stops it even activates the Okay, if you can see down there, status information, and it will activate the bit 8 in buffer memory 28 for the x axis. And about uh, bit 8 will stay on, and that is a, a bit that can be used again to uh, influence other parts of your program. In our case, where I'm going to be working for the project, it's going to be you'll be sending a signal to the machine. I'm in position. What do you want me to do now? So basically, from that point, it will send that code to the machine. Machine will execute it. Uh, cycle whatever he needs to do and from there on what machine is going to do is going to send the signal back and it will activate a uh, uh, bit number in here m code off as soon m code off is received he will go straight for the next position and will repeat so on and on and on so to demonstrate more or less how that looks so in here in the program i have programmed in my uh, as you can see my m codes so make sure so i can read them on my screen so that's going to be in uh, as you can see um, uh, uh, numbers in here and in here i have as well that uh, this would be my virtual uh, machines that would receive this information this, these lights will come on 
but that again that can be anything any machine can receive this bit and execute different uh, cycles or uh, programs or whatever for us it's going to be simulated uh, lamps and from there on as you can see that the m code off and now i'm going to be sim simulating the machine by clicking m code off it will cycle to our next position that's pretty much how we are going to be setting this uh, system up so and that's how we done that in here we, we get that in there and for the uh reading uh to where, is, where are we where are we where are we if you guys don't forget to watch the previous videos uh if because i'm not going to go in detail of all this what is going on in here so we're going to have to be indefinitely in a table position so is there a table uh, a table operation for the x-axis as you can see i already start programming my y-axis that is in upcoming videos and as you can see down here m11 is going to be our m sending uh turning uh now this one turning this bit on and off and that's pretty much is how we are going to be uh, programming this up and let's jump on the table so what we're going to do in here we are going to change change these to one positions why not so no more long no longer dwell times change them to into positions as you can see there's quite a bit of we're going to be jumping most or more or less through all of them and uh, we, we'll be able to uh, check them all out. I'll tell you one thing, we don't need, so can we, uh, how can we, yeah, so let's remove, that's too many positions in here. So we, let's work with the, this this lot of positions. So let's change that to 3000, let's change that to 5000, just quickly, just, and then one, Whatever that is, and let's change that one to zero, and let's copy that. Um, and it, as you can see, it doesn't like minus one, so change that one, that one, all of full speeds. And in here, we're gonna do one, two, any number can be there from what, one to nine, 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 three, four, and so that's pretty much and don't forget for every single uh, table you build make sure you put a end in this uh, and uh, uh, end of it end of the cycle end of the program uh, let's write that int to our uh, module here we go should have just selected that x-axis so uh, so yeah so this is what we're gonna do now so come on Taking your time again. Thank you. It's because we're not talking. Uh, there we go. Direct. Yes, we are talking. Not directly. So that's why it's taking a little more time. So having done that, uh, let's jump on to uh, the screen and check out how that works. Here we are. So uh, let's start up our servo. So servo is on. We're going to be using this guy in here. So as you can see, we got two of them. That's for the upcoming videos. So let's go into the table operation. As remember, uh, our first position, I think it was 1000. So once you click a start, as you can see, he's sent in the sign. I'm on a position one, whatever, or it could be any game card number you edited. It has sent the signal out. As you can see, this I'm using that as a simulated light, but that could be in into any any anywhere you wish. And it tells you, uh, as you can see, my uh, my complete uh, my position at the moment is at one thousand. And now it says, so now if you would be part of the machine, the machine wants that does the job. And which is this guy in here? I want to click on that one. He uh, I cancels out M code and it goes for the next position. And you do it again. And you do it again. And the fifth position, as I remember, it was a last one. And if you click the F code again, it will cancel out and there's no more position because it's that last position. You just stopped it and it's no longer at any M code. On that, ladies and gentlemen, what M code does is a really cool uh, feature. Uh, you can do some really, really good automation uh, with it. So hopefully that's giving you some good ideas what you could do and achieve with it. So other than that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. This is going to be conclude for the M code. The next video we're going to jump on uh, a uh, two-speed positioning and uh, interrupt uh, one-speed interrupt positioning. So uh, hopefully you can cover that all in one uh, video. So other than that, ladies and gentlemen, if you like the video, don't forget to smash that like, subscribe if you do like what we're doing here and want to see more. And uh, yeah, so if you got any questions and anything you would like to ask, definitely ask them in the comment section below and I'll answer them as soon and as accurate as I can. Other than that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.